This is the first video in the series of three different videos. In these three different videos, we are going to talk about macros. So the first video will be how to generate multiple PDFs from the Excel data. This will be the first video in the series. In the next video, we will see how to generate an Outlook email and then how to dynamically get the data inside the mail body. So when I say dynamic data, like when you are sending multiple or thousands of email that time we use the same template but change the data for each email so by the end of this video we will have two different videos one generate the pdf from the excel data second generate the email with the variable data in the third video we will combine both of these code and then we will see how the pdf will be generated and the email also will be sent to the customer with the attachment which is generated so i will also i will request you to hit the like button right now because this video is going to be very interesting and if you can share the feedback in the comment that will be really helpful please subscribe to the channel for more and more automation videos and python videos let's get started now i will show you the data first so here is the sample data that i have taken i have not taken any real name this is just uh, example data so you can have a look right now And then we are going to use this template. So if you see, this is an image. So let's say if you have some logo for your organization, you can put that logo here. And then you have to use a reference cell. So why this reference cell is required, we will use this as the key in our VLOOKUP. I hope you will be aware of the VLOOKUP. If you are not, no worries, you will learn now. So what I will do is I will take this First key is the customer, this order number for us. So we look up, we will take this key as the reference H3. You can use comma. After comma, it is asking the table array. You can see here. So table array is like from where you need the column. So we need the column from the data sheet. Why we are selecting all? Because we might require any of this columns so if you will select till column 10 but you will change the index column 11 data will not come so you have to select this entire range and then comma now we have the order number in the first column so put one and then you can just put false here if match is not found it should return false Right, so you have the order number here. Now you can copy this uh, formula from here, from the top. Go to escape. Click on the first name. Click inside the cell. Two times click you have to do. Paste it. And then change the column. Where is your first name? In two. Column number two. Where is the last name? Paste this. And column number 3. Likewise, you have to do for all the labels. So you can understand these labels from this file. So these are the same labels there. There is a small correction here. And here it will come 14 and here it should come 13. Alright, so let's say if you want to use some of the formula here in this invoice format sheet, you can use that, it will work. Let's say total price is unit price into unit count. And then you have 10% tax on it. So E8 into 10%. Now let's say your total amount will become E8 plus E9. Alright, so this kind of formula also you can use. That's not a problem. Second thing, 
there is most import there is one more most important point about this pdf generation which is not explained much on the google and not explained much on any video also page preview so if you click page preview on this sheet you can see the page 1 and page 2 is like this so till here it is page 1 here it is page 2 so your if you will generate the pdf now you will get the data till column d only if you want to extend this you just have to drag this till your choice so i am dragging this till f because i have taken the range till f so this will become page 1 this will become page 2 similar with page 2 if you want to add more data you want page 2 also then you have to drag that you can just save it go back to normal all right and this is the folder where we require our where we required our output so i have created this folder manually on this path let me show you the folder so here is the output folder so when pdf will be generated all the pdfs will be here so let's keep this open now let's go to the code and understand things so uh, this is the entire code you can pause the video here and then you can understand the code so i am going to put few comments here so anything which is starting with apostrophe comma that is the comment micro will micro will not execute that And you can put comments in on the side of the row also. So I will put like here. Start of the loop. End of the loop. So first of all, we have declared all the variables here which we require. Then we have taken the last row of this entire sheet because we have to loop till the last row. And this is the for loop starting from here we have the data first row as the row number two so we have taken the counter as two until the last row we will do step one means we will increase the steps one by one whenever you want to access any cell in the data you have to select the sheet first and then in the sheet you have to select the range so here we are selecting a2 when we will go first time it will select a2 because because a is mentioned here and it will become two so A2, alright, and then we will copy the selection and after that we will paste that value into H3 cell of the invoice format. So let me show you the H3 cell here. So which means like if you, which means like macro will select the data from here A1, 2, 3, 4 like that in the loop and then paste the data here. So let's say if it will change, the data will automatically change. You see the data is changed. If I will make it 3, enter, data is changed. Alright. So this will paste the value there, entire data will be changed in the invoice. Then the code will set the file name and the folder path so folder path we are taking from a excel cell so that is why we are selecting this range from the invoice format sheet i will go back so h4 here is the h4 and then we are this range you can see a1 to f12 so if i go to my sheet a1 to F12. I am selecting one column extra here, one column extra here so that we have enough space available inside invoice also. It is your choice if you don't want to do, if you want to select a different range. All right. And then we will go to the next one. So here I have to mention. So this is again a comment. It is not a code line. All right, so let's do one thing. Let's check in the folder. There is nothing. Come back to the code. What you can do is for few steps. So when you are debugging 
okay at the time of debug what you can do is you can keep this excel also open keep it on the small window and if you want you can zoom in and then you can start debugging so debugging is checking each step so i will just close this side window also for some time so to debug you have to use f8 if you have function key then function f8 and macro will highlight some line you can see other than that if you want to see the ongoing variable values what you can do is you can just hover upon the properties or variables let's say this rows dot count if i put my cursor rows dot count you can see these many rows are there in our excel so now we are in the loop again f8 so the data sheet would be selected here when i will click f8 once again so f8 you see the data sheet is selected when i will do f8 again it will go to the different sheet you can see the invoice format sheet will be selected and then it will save the range so next counter it this loop will keep going so one loop we have completed this is the second loop now this is also completed starting third loop so for all the rows this loop will be keep going as we have completed two different loops so there should be two pdfs available right now so let's go and check in the folder 912911 so let's open this 912 you can check customer 2 last name test 2 and let's check this an amount payable and it is item is washing machine so let's check the same thing in uh, the data also so 912 test 2 customer 2 and item is washing machine and price is 350 same data you have on this pdf also so now what i will do is as i have already explained you the code you can have a look here once again you can copy the code and if you want to insert more code in between you can go ahead and modify it that we have to add one button here if you are a button here so that anybody can run the code let's zoom out it again insert shapes in the shapes you can just click into any button and then you can drag the button here some some somewhere when you have a excel sheet that is micro enabled it will automatically and you right click the button right click it will ask assign macro so when you do assign macro it will show all the macros we our macro name is this sheet 1 your function open this if you will run this once again it will create all the pdf once again so just create so you see the data is changing on your screen data is changing in the reference cell also the speed of the generation will depend on your data and your system speed as well all right let's check all the pdfs are generated again or not yes you can see the timing here and timing here also so i hope this video was useful for you let's uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button please forward the link to your friends who want to learn more about the excel and macros thank you for your time happy learnings